Okay, we are. Give me one sec. Right, we are on live. How you doing? How you doing, bro? I'm all good, thank you, mate. All good. Good, 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 good. good. I wish I, I wish I actually um was going where you're going today. <laughs> yeah, my, fav my favorite place. It is indeed. I'm. I just. Uh, I don't know actually. Um, if uh, what do you call it? If I'm actually. Uh, I, I wish I could just go and do darshan and actually not. Mm. <laughs> right, I'm going to put it in gallery view. There we go. So we are now on. Nice one, nice one. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Um, it's another beautiful Saturday. Um, we're just basically, so I'm here with uh, my good friend Sagar, and, um, you know, who's also part of um, the team, uh, Mindful Men's Club. So we've got Viraj, we've got Tilak, we've got Haven. So um, us five are the guys basically who are behind Mindful Men's Club. What is Mindful Men's Club? If you guys don't know, uh, for especially for new people watching this, it's basically a space created for men by men to raise awareness about the mental health taboos that exist prominently in the Asian culture and now have stemmed uh, for us certainly in terms of the visibility and we've allowed basically men to join us from all over the world because mental health is universal. It applies to every single person. Uh, for the women who are asking, just before you jump on and comment, saying, "What's what? Where, where is? How, how can the women join?" This is the page for you, and there is a there is a private page uh, for women as well. And go check up our sister group called Mental Wealth, and that's on Facebook. Um, so yeah, so if you want to know anything about mental wealth, um, and not just know but have a space to communicate with like-minded women please, please, please go check out on Facebook, uh, the page called Mental Wealth. But if there's women out there who want to jump on our live uh, with us on screen, uh, with me and Saga, so let us know. If, you're, if you don't, that's cool. Uh, continue to post comments like you guys normally do um, every week and questions, observations, feedback, topic suggestions, um, you name it. So the week, this week's topic, literally, we just come out of the call. Had a bit of a short rest break, right? So I got a 10 minute rest break uh, from my 11 o'clock start that we always do. And um, for those of you um, um, who can't work out when we do it, it's really easy. Synchronize your watches and clocks um, for 11 o'clock every Saturday, uh, two weeks from now. So we've done one this morning at 11 a.m. And then in two weeks from now, We've got another topic. I can't see the topics, but I'm sure Saga will have a look on our on our event event by page and, and drop some of the topics on the chat. Uh, and you can join us. And this week's topic was, well, this morning's topic was time bullies, um, which was really interesting because what does that even mean? Like, what does time bullies mean to you? Because what it means to me, what it means to Saga, what it means to all the men, clearly it meant something different, right, Saga? It was completely something different to each and every person. Um, yeah. I think it would be lovely, actually, if um, as we are on Facebook, uh, it would be lovely if everyone could post what time bullies means to them. Um, yeah. It would be nice to get an input from you guys uh, and just some sort of uh, definition of what it actually means to you, because it means different to everyone, as we realised in our um, on our Zoom live today. Uh, so please do post and, and we'll share that, and um, you know, hopefully this will uh, bring up a conversation as well. Uh, what do you think, Manoj? Yeah, hundred percent. Because time, time bullies, it, quote unquote, it has a different connotation, right, and a different meaning to to, to how you receive that statement and that information. And it's going to be whatever footprint that that left that statement left on your life, or is leaving in your in your life, right? So, so I mean, just to give you a, a bit of an extract. So, time bullies from some of the guys. Uh, I won't go into the details of the conversation because that's private and confidential but just very high level so the things that were mentioned were to someone it was productivity um that's what it meant for someone it was protecting their energy for someone it was energy vampires um for somebody it was um being succumbed to our elders and and being bullied in terms of time not not necessarily intentionally bullied but as in like when um especially it's quite prominent in the asian culture when when you know when our elders tell us to do something we jump right when we're especially at our kids and we just do it um 
uh, and if we don't, there's normally consequences for that. So, um, you know, to me, it was completely different. So to me, it meant um, your internal state. So what I mean by that is time bullies for me is what you choose to believe what it is. So what I mean by that is actually time bullies is just a habit and a habit is just a thought. So if I choose to do a habit for a period of time and it's not conducive to what I want to get out of life, for example, then I choose to be bullied by that time draining on me, if that makes sense. It's my choice um, and energy vampires there's a deeper definition to that. Yes, there's people who will suck your energy, but you choose whether to let them suck your energy. So therefore you are in control of that. Uh, it may not feel like it, but you are in control of it. So to me, time bullies is an internal state, um, a state of mind and consciousness. And it really, really means what what is it that you think you don't have time for, but you've got an abundance of time for. Another thing that came out uh, was time management. How often do we actually manage our time seven days a week and actually have a day or just a minute or time in the week where we're filling our own cup, right? Where it's too busy pleasing and serving other people. But how often are we re-energizing ourselves? So it's just a, such a massive, deep subject about what time bullies is. Um, one of the guys mentioned, I don't even understand the title. What time? Great, because... What is it, right? What does it mean to you? So it's all subjective, isn't it? I guess is what we're saying, Sagara. How you receive information and how information is shared, right? And 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 the words that I might say, the same word might have a different meaning to you, and vice versa. Yeah, I know, hundred percent. Um, and it's, it's nice because so many different definitions came out um, earlier today. I mean. Um, you were Rajan uh, just um, he's put something up on Facebook he said time bullies for me is giving way to distractions to waste time lead to procrastination yeah 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 definitely and and, and thank you for you Raj for always showing up every week um, massive shout out to you and massive shout out to always jumping on our Facebooks as well and and so much information you know you Raj is a teacher um, by profession um, and he joins us all the way from Malaysia so <laughs> kudos kudos to you um and and it, and it proves that that he's not allowing uh time to be a barrier as well right so he's choosing to show up and and he's right about what you said about procrastination you, you you can see the thing is yeah no one wants to live life till the end of their life and have ifs buts and maybes if i did this maybe i chose to do this career or launch a business, right? Yeah. But I can't do it because of this, right? End of the day, it's all excuses, right? I'm just going to be sort of straight to the point. I know you don't want a life of regret. And if you don't want a life of regret, don't procrastinate. Simple as that. Yeah. Procrastination, procrastination is a time bully by definition. I love that. Yeah, definitely. I think there was something else mentioned about um, uh, people not understanding uh, your time. I, I don't know who someone mentioned that on the Zoom live, didn't they? Yeah, it's not. It's not. Well, it's it's not valuing your time. It's not respecting your time, uh, and therefore, if they're not valuing and respecting it, then they're not they're not truly understanding what time means to you and me. So, for example, Saga, you say, Manoj, we're going to go out. You know. Um, here's the time, here's the date. If I don't acknowledge and show up and say, yes, I'll meet you. And for example, I don't show up. I'm taking that for granted, right? Because you carved out time in your diary to meet me. Does it make sense? You've literally carved out time. So how often do we say on a WhatsApp message, I'll call you back or yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, I've got you, I'll be there. But then completely I mean, it's human nature, things happen, but you forget to even acknowledge it. So, but what you don't realize, I'm talking from a personal note here, is I get a lot of people saying, manager, I need to talk to you. And I get, yeah, great, great. Message me at this time, call me at this time, or remind me at this time. But if you don't, the ball's in your court, right? Because I've carved out time in my, in my space to be there for you. And if you don't be there for you and be there for me by not showing up, then you don't value and respect our time so 100 percent, it's a valid point 
and we went deeper we didn't we went even deeper into that we went into the level of time and energy right because i can show up and and come here right now on this facebook live and give i don't know what it is 45 minutes or however long we talk but if i don't bring my energy to it then the time has no value it's like family um spending family time people say yeah, yeah let's spend family time together but then every single one of the families on a mobile phone that's not spending family time together that's spending time with your family and not bringing your energy to the moment there's, there's a big difference yeah i think uh, yeah i mean i'm, I'm definitely to blame at that uh, i'm gonna be no, me too me too I, I mean i'm learning as well right we're all learning it's just a force of habit right um and another another thing that came out was a clickbait so for those of you who don't understand it or don't, don't know what that means i'm sure you've all experienced it is you get something that comes up on insta or facebook or twitter or, or linkedin whatever and you click on it because it sounds interesting but then it's drawn you in to click on something else and then before you know it you've spent an hour on something completely random that's completely irrelevant that's not going to impact change influence your life in any way shape or form and you've lost that time which you can never get back yeah that's so true actually I, I, again i think uh, yes uh, it's i always set myself to do something and uh yeah it's one of those things as you just mentioned something another ad will come up and i'm like oh let me check that out then i completely forget what i was supposed to do <laughs> and then it never gets done mm. uh, and and i think this is exactly what um um you know was mentioned in the zoom live is what time bullies meant to that person was of course yeah. priorities right mm -hmm. because where if you spent um and i i I'm, as i said i'm to blame at this because we will schedule a call and then i will not call you and then you'll be like i was waiting for your call i didn't actually appreciate the time that you've taken out because we arranged that call instead mm -hmm. my priorities were different at that point because something else came up that's understandable, but of course, I think communicating that, saying, actually, Manoj, do you know what? Uh, something else has come up, not actually keeping you on hold or hanging. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. And another thing, that's, that's, a, that's thank you for that uh, nice segue into the next, I guess, thing that we wanted to naturally come across is that um, one of the guys in, 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 in the um, Zoom mentioned balance, right? And he mentioned... Um, um, and I think we're going to do a, a talk about it. So balance and harmony, that's actually going to be another talk, uh, another topic. But going back to what you said, you mentioned communication because you can have, it's okay because moments like that happen, right? Because pe people, people have hectic lives, right? But did you communicate that to the other person? And if you didn't, it's okay. But did you then have an afterthought and, and realize when the chaos of your life kind of, you had the still moment and think, okay, right, I need to WhatsApp him or her, well, I need to communicate because most people will say, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I didn't realize that because I've also been in that situation, right, where you forgot to get back to someone. Mm. But part of communication is being authentic and being real and being honest um, and, and, and saying, I, I, I can't make this time. And, and also another point is knowing when to say no, right? Quite often we're yes people. And if you keep saying yes to everyone, guess what? You're never going you're never gonna to say yes to yourself. Um, and you're not going to have that energy to serve others because you've said yes to every single person. So you have to choose who you serve, how you serve and how you spend your time and energy wisely. Right. Because they're the two most expensive uh, currencies, not money. Time and energy is the most expensive currency. Money you can make, money you can lose, money you can earn, money you can borrow. Can't borrow time, can't borrow energy. It's, once it's gone, it's expelled. Right yeah no I, I yeah I, I definitely agree i think that's a really good point that you made there in in terms of that again just going back on what i said about communication because i think for me and i think people who are on um especially prina um there's a few other people on that i know as well and um on the watch party and, and i think for me i just if i don't get back to someone I'll be just like okay well they're close to me anyway they'll just understand but mm. ha because you've already got that expectation that they'll understand <laughs> you tend it's not an to interesting point isn't it because because <laughs> you it's it's it, no it's a really good subject because um 
and we and, and it's about we talked about it as well right and it's about love languages as well and other guys mentioned it on our previous chat and and if you guys don't know about love languages definitely read up on it because it's it's just amazing right the essence of that is what i perceive as love or a feeling or communication or feeling that um that i understand is completely opposite to how you want it so for example um for your birthday you might want i don't know to go out for dinner mm. but for my birthday i might want I don't know, um, to have a four hour conversation about spirituality, whatever, I don't know, right, do you know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is that unless you understand the communicational languages, the tonality, um, and it's not just tonality, it's a depth of feeling that how the other person receives it, right? It's really, really important, it's really important because you might think that that person will forgive you, but then that person might not forgive you, but that's your expectation of that person's feeling and that person's expectation of your feeling is like, well, hell man, why, why didn't he call me back or whatever it was, right? Or why didn't he show up? So until you kind of have that balanced understanding, you know, it's very different. And I gave a personal example, didn't I, um, of, 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 of my communication as well um, with friends and family. Um, and if you don't articulate yourself um, as to when you can show up and when you don't have time in a respectful, authentic, authentic way, then you're actually carving out time in a beautiful way for them, right? Because when people say, another guy, another male mentioned on our private chat is when people say, how are you doing? Oh, I'm busy, man. What does that mean? Everyone's busy, right? And, and then we talked about what does busy mean? And it has a connotation to a negative content. You might actually be busy, but what you're not realizing is, the metaphor of you saying I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy is could be perceived as negative and you shutting the door on someone who's trying to reach out. So it, it, it's that deep, right? It, it, it's it's what does busy mean to you? So yeah, you, you, you instead of and, and, and the example shared was really cool, which is instead of saying I'm busy, um, this is what I did today. Or this is what my day looked like. Completely change of language, right? Whereas busy seems like stop, that's it, you don't want to talk. And then the other one's like, I am busy, I was busy, but this is what I got up to. But that could then lead on to a nice, beautiful conversation, right? So the language is just fascinating, isn't it? Oh, mate, that that just, uh, yeah, I, I think that actually hit me well, because even though I wasn't live properly on the Zoom today, like everything that I was listening to is so true, because I do that a lot. Um, and you don't realise the impact it has on someone else um, in terms of, yeah, I won't say what I'm doing, but automatically my response will be like, I'm busy. And now saying the way, the, putting it the way you just put it, actually, how does that sound to someone else? Because it just sounds like you just don't want to talk and you just block them without actually understanding, you know, without them understanding. If you told them, like you said, if you put it in a, in a way that this is what I'm doing, however i will call you back or whatever i think they will seem it seems well it comes out as a different way than just completely shutting them down by saying i'm busy um so yeah no well that that actually did hit me because i do that quite a bit actually um which is which is not a good thing um but yeah, I but it's not it's not it's not from a coming from a place of bad intention what you're saying it's just a case of life life has a way of passing us by right um but the people in our lives they're the ones that we should kind of want to be in our lives right so and and if that's the case and and, and we all do then when somebody's see i pay close very close attention to when someone's trying to reach out and they will not see it they won't they can hide it as much as they want but i'll always know when someone's trying to reach out and, and i mean it in a positive way right mm -hmm. so whether that's a simple one-liner uh, whether in a WhatsApp message, that's a direct Facebook messenger, whether it's a blast from the uh, a blast, uh, etc. I haven't spoken to for like 30, 40 years, or whether it's um, a neighbor, or you know, like people communicate in different ways, and we put these barriers and masks up, right? Because we think that people are going to judge us, and people are are going to hate us for it, and people are going to point fingers and label us and stereotype us and stigmas and all that kind of stuff, and when it comes down to it, it's like everyone needs someone to talk to. Mm. No, literally, 
literally every single human needs someone to talk to, whether that's yourself, whether that's to someone else, whether that's to your pet, whatever it is, right? Everyone needs to, to have that communication. And if there's people, and social media is a really cool example of that. I could literally scan someone's social media and, and I will know whether it's a superficial post, whether it's a genuine post, whether it's a cry out for help, whether it's a celebration of love and happiness and joy, or whatever it is. And people are reaching out every single day and it's okay, but that's their way of reaching out, right? Um, et cetera. Like my, my boys said to me, dad, you're not cool. I'm like, really? Okay. So I, so I posted a, <laughs> I literally posted a, a, a whatever you want to call it, a, a rap, drop some bars, wherever, because, because I love hip hop, yeah. right? So it started off as a normal post and it just turned into, I, had, I just heard a hip hop beat and I thought, well, I'm, I'm just going to express my life and how I feel, right? And then my son's like, dad, that's pretty cool. But I didn't do it to make him think that I'm cool it was kind of like a trigger whatever you want to call it to say do you know what okay i can write but i can pretty much write about anything i want so why not relate to my son because yeah. he relates to cool and music and that kind of stuff right he doesn't relate to deep spiritual meaning conversations or personal development and that's cool right and and and, and it comes down to what we talked about earlier is communication and my frequency might not be your frequency might not be his frequency and that's okay but it's knowing to dial in and dial out at their frequency and meeting someone half halfway right yeah no exactly um but uh, do you know what it's so nice because we've got quite well only four or five people online today but that's all good um i just want to say um thank you for joining i mean we've got a sonu sonu dave on, hey sonu uh we have uh, prina's online we've hey, also Prina. roshni online and she's the one that's getting married today so i don't know she should be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who. I don't think I've ever met Roshni, but congratulations, and you're in absolutely amazing hands. I don't know what Saga is doing here, and I don't know what Roshni is doing watching this live. She's probably checked me up, thinking, "Do you know what Saga needs? You, you better, you better be planning my event, right?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, it's so nice to see her online, and we got uh, my mate Kaushik as well online as well. So thanks, guys. Um, again, hey, Kaushik, for joining. And again, um, if you didn't. Um, the whole uh, topic today is uh, time bullies and you know it's nice to have uh, your input we would love to have your input on what time bullies actually means to you because that will sort of spark up a, a conversation um, and so many things came out today and you know as I said yeah I didn't actually know what time bullies meant even though uh, we've got we've created the group uh and then as as you know when people actually define what time bullies means to them as as i mentioned earlier to manage just now is is so true it's um i think we take um other people's times granted um and you know we don't realize how it actually impacts them instead we just think about us or you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and we take our own time for granted as well yeah no no 100 like so one of, one other thing that came out is um, uh, I was talking to, um, you know, in, I don't know if you, I'm, I'm sure everyone has used Outlook, right, in their life, Microsoft Outlook. So uh, some a simple tip that I'll share um, if anyone's listening is that what I do is in Outlook, you know, you get the categories. So I actually rename the categories myself because you can rename them to whatever the categories are that are in relation to whatever I'm planning in Outlook. And then I color code my whole diary. In Google, I color code my whole diary. And in the middle, um, I've got something called DE, right? Which means daily exercise. That's just my time buffer for me time. I don't take any client bookings. I don't speak to anyone at that time. It's me time. And if you don't allocate me time into your, your diary every day, every week, every month, guess what? You will burn out. You will literally burn out, right? And you won't have time for other people because you haven't made time for yourself so it's that paradox of balance between time and energy but but your time and energy as well as other people's time and energy yeah i like that i, I think i need to uh yeah implement that actually <laughs> it's just it's just simple literally just <laughs> blocking out in your diary and, and color coding it and then because we reference colors so easily right to do with taste, sense, feeling, 
So the color green will mean something unique to someone. The color red will mean something unique to someone, etc. Um, you know, something I mentioned in, in, in the talk earlier on is that um, Vishen Lakhani uh, has post on uh, Facebook. If you guys don't know who Vishen Lakhani is, <laughs> you need to look him up, right? That's what I'm going to say. Mind Valley, yeah. Google Mind Valley, Vishen Lakhani. So he put a post up, and he had, um, I think it was like nine or ten in a circle. Um, um, squares like green squares and he said can you spot the difference and I'm like looking at the squares like literally trying to think this is a trick question like all the way around and it took me six or seven tries and I don't think I even got it then and it was just a subtle subtle off shade of green and the point of this is that he was sharing that there's a uh, there's a South American tribe that has 15 words in their vocabulary for the color green that's mind-boggling so when we see an apple we see green i'm not going to say i'm not going to sit there and pick which 15 words <laughs> i'm going to choose because i don't have that in my vocabulary but they do right uh, and he also mentioned in, in 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 russia they have two words for the color blue so it's just interesting language and communication and uh, um and, and and cultures and and how we communicate and and, and i think it's just fascinating. It's just fascinating. Something else uh, I shared is uh, one of the guys laughed, but he got it. Is when I go to work, I wear a watch with no batteries, and he's like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Well, yeah, I do." And 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 the reason I do that is because every time someone asks me what the time is, and that doesn't happen every time. When it does happen, I say, "I don't know," and then and then they, and they give me that bizarre thing. But you got a watch on. I'm like, "Well, have a look." It doesn't. I'm not wearing it now, but have a look. It 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 stopped. I said, what do you mean? Well, why don't you put the batteries in it? And the reason, and it's personal to me, but the reason I don't put batteries in my watch is because it reminds me that whatever I'm doing in life, time is timeless when I'm loving life. So therefore time is irrelevant to me. So that's my trigger to train my brain to think that, right? And then for him, um, another guy shared where he climbed Mount, Mount Everest, right? And then the uh, Rudraks that he was wearing, uh, bracelet wasn't for religious reasons it was to remind him of that moment in his life mm. yeah and that was his trigger my one is it's a tiger's eye right it's because my sacral chakra uh, used to be blocked it's not blocked anymore but it's just a nice reminder so we all have these reminders right whether it's a tattoo or jewelry or uh, you know watch or whatever it is and it's just it's just a connection right into the subconscious and conscious mind of an experience sometimes it might not be that deep sometimes it might just be i just think that it's cool right whatever it is that piece of jewelry and, and that's okay as well yeah no nah. um wow we've got uh so we've got rusik uh Kotecha, thank you for joining kishan uh kashik kashik made a lovely comment i think he knows me too well he goes um <clears throat> saga sleep does not count as me time <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's because that's because you you remind me of my uh, oldest uh, uh, son, Shailen. You might want me saying this because he's not on Facebook Live anyway. Um, is that uh, how I think when I first met you? Yeah, what's the cartoon character that comes to mind? Yogi Bear. Yeah, because you love to hibernate. <laughs> <laughs> you love your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I know. That just, uh, just that, that just made me crack up because Kaushik knows me too well. <laughs> that's like I'm busy. <laughs> That's your window, like that's your, that's your time, right? Your me time. Yeah, but then that's busy all the time. <laughs> Bro, listen, I don't know how many hours you actually sleep. I reckon what is it, about nine, ten, twelve. I, I don't know. Uh, it's just no, it can't be that much because you. It's 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 really weird actually because um yeah I, I I tend to work I'm more um uh, efficient working at night. So I don't normally, I'll try, I, I, I normally work, my, I've realized my best time to work is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. And I get a lot more work done in those four hours than I do in the entire day. But then what happens, because I don't go to sleep till 2, 2.30 in the morning, I will still wake up at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning because of the meditation that I do with Pritesh. And that's a good thing because that gets me up, right? Yeah. And if I don't get up, you know what Pritish is like. He will tell yep. me. Yeah, yeah. We meditate, and then as soon as I meditate, and I'm so tired that I go back to sleep. <laughs> so just that's 
but but there's nothing wrong with that why because that's your routine and then what we also talked about is time versus productivity so how many people at work perceive to be busy right and then work late and they, everyone knows that one person that pretends to be busy or has in their careers or business or whatever right but actually you've got the other person who will just do the hours they need to or maybe even do less hours but get more work than more work done in that and it's about having that sweet spot right and you've just articulated what your sweet spot is which is that efficiency time nothing wrong with that that's that's when you've realized that's when you're at your best and you molded your other day around that okay so let's let's switch this around then now right because i just thought of something so no, no. saying that this is time bullies the whole topic so that's my sweet time 10 p.m till 2 a.m right uh, so yeah 10 p.m till 2 a.m is where i get the most work done where i'm most productive during the daytime yeah i love to sleep but then that completely defeats the whole point about this time bullies thing right because where people where normal people are awake and actually want to engage with people that's the time when i want to sleep <laughs> do you see what i mean so like if manage if you say okay here we no 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 i'm glad you asked that you kind of i, I love when, you, <laughs> when, you, when we put each other on the spot so, so okay so my interpretation of that is um so what and so what meaning it doesn't defy the whole object of it because if people want to meet you halfway yeah they will meet you halfway does it make sense ah oh, but then that's what, that's but then that that's exactly what people are saying right and that's um but is that down to they not understanding your routine and they're not understanding your have you communicated that to them and because if you say to someone it's like it's like a shop that's not open on a sunday you ain't gonna knock on the door yeah. and expect the shop to open on a Sunday. So if people get used to your routine, um, then you get used to it. It's like my brother, um, you know, he's he's working in the night. Most people are sleeping in the night. He works uh, in the night. So then I know his routine. So I know when not to ping him and when, when to ping him, if that makes sense. No, I... makes sense. And your other point is like, who wants to be normal, mate? You're not normal. I'm not normal. Who wants to be normal? Normal's boring. What does normal mean? Yeah, no, no, no. You're right. I think you you just literally nailed that. Uh, in terms of have I communicated it, and the answer is no, because people just yeah that they assume because I haven't communicated it, they assume that all I do is weddings in the daytime and then sleep throughout the night. But yeah, I'm actually working at night, and then like now, I know I'll be struggling because I've got to get someone married. <laughs> Whereas normally it would be my my. No. Don't don't say that. Roshni's still listening, isn't she? Like, isn't she? Roshni, Roshni knows my type. <laughs> no, no, no. But you know what? But one thing about you, you, I would say you're like me in the sense that when you have to show up, you show up, right? It just you, you just get that energy from somewhere, right? Because you know you're you what you're doing is bigger than you in, in in a nice way. I mean that meaning you're doing it to serve others, right? So you have to show up, and when you have to show up, and 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 if you show up in a place like for you weddings and DJing that's your passion so it's not going to take any amount of of adjustment or energy that somebody else might have to do to do something that's uncomfortable to them so it's what you love doing yes you're going to be a little bit and you need to do whatever you need to do which is your muscle or your fix or coffee or whatever it is that you take these days I don't know right a protein uh, a, a bar or whatever it is a red bull whatever gives you wings in life <laughs> but when you're there you're there is what i'm trying to say right because that's what you love doing yeah so you're gonna show up you're gonna show up but but your routine is your routine and you choose to do the meditations in the morning because you choose to serve other people right yeah, yeah. Does that make, do you see what i mean it's like i choose to do this and do the do the events with you and then after this i'm gonna have a I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get whooped on Xbox like I normally do on Halo, right? With my boys who kids advance so quickly, but that's my time with them. So yeah. I choose to do that. Do, do you see what I mean? Like we, every, everything's a choice in life. No, that's true. I mean, uh, we've got a few comments. Uh, so Rasik uh, Kotecha said, my sleep time is 11 to 7. 
Uh, thank you for sharing that, uh, Rustic. Uh, Rustic uh, said that's night time. I cannot play golf at night, Samra. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe golf. Golf. Do you know what? There's a beautiful. I don't know who which. I don't know which Rustic this is, but um. Got but the... yeah, I don't. I can't, I can't see the the chat, but yeah. But uh, yeah, welcome, welcome, Rustic. Thanks for sharing that. You just reminded me that where I work is I work next to Gerard's Cross Golf Club, the most serene golf club that I've seen in my life beautiful beautiful scenery so that's one for for us there you go go check that golf club out if you like golf and yes definitely you cannot play golf at night they haven't quite mastered. Yeah, it's, it's mastered that or yeah, yeah it just doesn't doesn't work no you're right I just like to say uh, hello to Rupal thanks for joining Rupal um, again just bringing that point up it's so lovely that um, uh, you know we we bring this up every two weeks and we just want to we're so grateful to all the women that actually joins our um, facebook lives yeah. um but also um the women who have connected on, on our facebook mindful men's group um, i know the group is for men and we do the zoom lives just for men um but it's because of the the women in our group who actually uh shares uh, the links and actually gets people to connect so we just want to say thank you so much to all the women and you know please do subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel mindful men's club um, and because hopefully we can grow this globally we've got so many different projects uh, coming up which me and Manoj have um, we're not going to share at the moment as, you know but as soon as we've got it launched uh, we will definitely let you guys know um, and Russell, uh yeah Yes, of course, Cambridge, from Cambridge. Oh, it's from Cambridge. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. But I know exactly who you are. So thank you so much again for sharing um, uh, your um, on, on the Facebook Live today. Um, Manoj, I mean, is there anything that, I mean, we've got some really good um, topics coming up. And um, again, if you want to know what topics are coming up, please do um, look at our Eventbrite page and just type in Mindful Men's Club. We've got all the topics for the next, I think, four sessions until November. Uh, yeah, and I've got a few more, a uh, few more to add. Yeah, so we're right up until we've got enough topics right up until December. But um, and we just had new topics introduced today um, by one of the men. Two new topics as well, um, and also there was talks about doing a Mindful Men's Club, but a teenager version um so yeah so who knows you know watch this space there's quite a few things happening um there's there's a lot of things happening i think what would be really cool Saga, is if you can put the link for the events uh bright page and the youtube link on the chat that'd be great um and then while you're doing that yeah definitely a massive shout out to all the men and women who show up every time because it takes courage just to even join a live it takes courage to comment because that's a form of your expressionism right you're just trying to connect you're trying to reach out and then you're trying to express yourself and always express yourself in an authentic way um, and I always I say this every time and, I, and anyone who follows my post is OPO equals noise other people's opinion don't matter right when it's noise it does matter when it comes from a place of constructive feedback and authenticity and they're trying to help you but when it's noise and gossip and rumors it don't matter like it literally does not matter um, like I say to everyone you do you and I do me right so do what makes you happy. Life is too short to please other people. Yeah. It literally is. So I do need to make moves, Marod. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got you. you no, I'm not, I don't want that on my conscience, mate. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have Roshni, is it, message me or a hubby um, who, who she's about to get married to. But no, definitely we'll wrap up. I think, um, I don't know what the time is. What's the time, Saga? Uh, well, coming up to 1.40. Oh wow! Okay, right, right. We'll wrap up. We'll wrap up now. Just want to say, um, Saturday the twelfth of September is our next one at eleven o'clock uh, on the Zoom, um, and then same twelve forty-five will be the Facebook Live, and the topic is celibacy. Um, which another be interest, another, another interesting one. And just to let you guys know that there is no topic that we will not talk about, right? So the Zoom sessions are private for men. And we always extract some of the information and we carry the topic over on our Facebook Live. And the reason we do that is to allow men and women to, to converse and, 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 and communicate 
um, and then to suggest other topics because you never know it might be something that's relatable to you so that's that that's the structure of the event so it's 11 o'clock every two, uh, every saturday sorry two weeks and then 12 45 religiously we go live on facebook so yeah if you want to sync up with that in your calendars yeah and again just a, a reminder guys just please please do um subscribe and, and share our youtube link if you just type in mindful men's club on youtube uh we should be actually the first or second one that comes up so uh, please do subscribe as i said the more subscribers we get we can actually have our own unique youtube link uh and then that will be much easier to share amongst um well amongst family and loved ones who you may think may benefit from this uh, platform so yeah please do share and, and we're always here so uh, if any of you have got our contact numbers you know you can always um pass our contact numbers and we'll definitely try and schedule in a time to talk to people individually if they don't feel comfortable coming on zoom or on the platform itself uh is that true yeah manage it that... yeah definitely definitely and 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 the reason uh for the youtube link just to say it again it's not for vanity guys it's to ensure that another man doesn't become a statistic to suicide period it's just to reach more people that's it but i think on that note have a super super it's bank holiday right? i forgot it's bank holiday monday yeah i was gonna book a holiday uh, but i didn't realize it's bank holiday monday yeah, um, but have a super super bank holiday um weekend um what's Rashmi's uh husband to be his name raj raj don't know you raj um don't think i know you might be on my facebook where well, it's funny like that but have a massive massive blessed uh, wedding and a blessed life together Roshni and Raj and massive congratulations and you picked the most serene beautiful place and beautiful ground to get married so and, and you were, you're in good hands so yeah and Sagar have a blessed one yeah take you care. no worries buddy bye-bye take care mate no worries take care bye-bye